Hey, Riverwood Church, I hope this video goes a little better than the last one. The last time I tried to record it, it ended up in slow-mo, so it's like, whoa, whoa. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day so far. I wanted to let you know about some things that are happening. First of all, we are going to be part two of our sermon series, Five Vital Choices. You know, this past week, I opened up the discussion about five vital choices with the challenge to live like an explorer. We're all to be exploring the richness of God and the mission that he's put inside of us, trusting him that each day we have a purpose that we need to unlock and discover. That's living like an explorer and that's what we discussed last Sunday. If you missed it, uh, look online uh, on our website and you'll find that message. Part two comes this Sunday. We're going to talk about living like an investor. We're going to look at uh, Luke chapter 19 and the parable of the talents. Now, a familiar passage to you perhaps, but I hope to unlock some things or at least uh, have us explore some things maybe you haven't considered about that passage that I think will encourage you to live like an investor. I want to also just remind you that this coming Sunday, we're kicking off the, the Life at Riverwood luncheons. And this is an opportunity for us just to sit. I want to hear from you about your hopes and dreams and goals for Riverwood community, for yourself, what you see um, are things that you'd like to see happen, um, and just get to know each other a little bit better. So we're going to limit the group size to 10. If you haven't signed up already, please find a time on a Sunday that works for you to do so. We'll carry these on until... Um, you know, we've probably talked to as many as are willing to come on and enjoy some pizza or whatever we have planned. Be immediately after the service. It won't take uh, very long and I uh, look forward to seeing you. Also, if you haven't had a chance this week, I would invite you and suggest that you find a connect group that could work for you. Connect groups are just drop-ins, basically. allows us to have time for each of us to get together with um, uh, the body of Riverwood and to explore and discuss the, um, the message that we heard on Sunday. And maybe you didn't hear it, that's okay, you can still come. It's a great time to invite a friend or neighbor as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing you Sunday. I hope you have a terrific week.